This beautiful great horned owl is chilling in this nest. This is a male owl and night comes and the owl leaves. A hungry raccoon gets up there to get an easy meal but gets a bit more than it bargained for of course because the owl is watching the whole time and makes it known that the raccoon is not welcome. Looking around for an exit strategy here and this owl comes in and hits him hard and I suspect that this raccoon is gone for good this time. This is an insane video, y'all. This is in Eastern Oregon. So a guy is on a dirt bike and starts to really accelerate when much to his chagrin, a huge mountain lion runs out in the road and amazingly didn't get hit. Want to know how amazing cats reflexes are? You really see it when you slow it down, like how the puma is right there and then at the last minute is able to react. I mean amazing stuff. This cat would have been a goner if it had gotten hit, and possibly this man too, for as fast as he was going. Insane. Whoa, bear! Wow, who could expect this? Kangaroo attacking, attacking. Attacking the goat. I bet you have never seen a kangaroo and a goat get into it. Well, now you have. It looks almost like the goat wants to play and the kangaroo is being the serious one. As mean as this kangaroo is, I doubt that it could take a full charge from this goat and would get demolished probably. Even though I know how rough and crazy kangaroos can be. Boy, I agree. A tourist had a close encounter with a mama bear and her cubs on a trip to Anakista. We showed you this video yesterday posted to TikTok. Photojournalist Brian Holt spoke to Anakista today who says these bears are frequent visitors. This happens at Anakista, which is an amusement park in Tennessee. Is there any scenario where you can imagine coming down this roller coaster and seeing this in your path? Hail to the gnaw. I would encourage if you were to encounter a bear while you were here at Anakista to of course maintain that 150 foot distance that the park recommends and notify one of our staff. Anna's not the only bear here on the property. We do see uh, several families. One is a, a bear with three cubs that our staff has lovingly called Goldilocks because of the three bears. And another bear called Scrappy. Uh, and you know, I guess our bears just enjoy our wide open spaces and our fresh mountain air, just like our guests here at Anakista. To this front window. And climbed up the brick. And this glass is missing. This takes place in Toronto where a new home is under construction, but unfortunately there are some uninvited guests. Go. No, not in the wall. Come on. Go. Three. A total of 11 fat raccoons had made their home in this new home, and I must say they look more scared than anything else. Raccoons are usually pretty mild mannered, but as you know, once you piss them off, they turn into complete maniacs and will tear you apart. These raccoons were thankfully removed without incident. So there's a man out hiking with his dog when they encounter a mountain lion. The dog is smart because although it's definitely being very mouthy with the cougar, I'm sure something in the back of its mind tells the dog that uh, this ain't a cat to mess with, bruh. 
and the dog would be absolutely correct. Come. Timber, come. Coyotes are very opportunistic hunters, as you know. This coyote saw a dead carcass and thus an obvious opportunity for a free meal. One problem for this coyote, as well as another coyote that was with him, the meal actually belongs to a pack of wolves and they're not having it. While one of the coyotes is literally getting torn apart, the other one somehow barely manages to escape. So what do you do if one of the most ferocious animals in the world went and walked right by you? I don't know, but I probably would have had a heart attack. This wolverine is walking by with the head of a goat in its mouth. It really has no interest in the human filming it, and thank goodness for that. What makes a person want to own this Pokemon looking creature is beyond me. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think ant eaters belong inside the house. What the hell is wrong with people? Anyway, as you can see, this ant eater is being all cute and playful with its owners. One of my questions is how do you feed these things? Do you take it to the backyard and just look for ant mounds? Do you raise ant farms just for the purpose of feeding your ant eater? Bottom line is just leave the damn wild animals in the wild, folks. There's no tall tail. They're usually the gentlest of giants. But it turns out there's one giraffe in the South African savanna who's willing to stick his neck out if you're driving by him in a Jeep. It started as the perfect safari photo op, up close with one of nature's most majestic creatures. So we can Wow, well, that's nice. We can do pictures. And you know, everybody was so excited. Oh, he's behind you, I left. But then, uh-oh. The giraffe starts moving closer. The driver pulls away. Maybe now is the point to radio for help. But as the Jeep picks up speed, so does the giraffe. All 13 feet, two and a half tons of them. They try and get away, but the giraffe outruns the Jeep, sideswiping it at 30 miles an hour. Watch again that crunch is the side mirror coming off. I'm not sure what prompted this giraffe to get aggressive. They're usually very laid back around humans, but this one was not trying to hear it. I'm glad these people are okay because that would have been a bad way to go out for sure. This poor stray horse is getting harassed by four dogs and somehow remains calm. Like, I thought the horse would kick the crap out of the dogs, but this is a pretty shy horse. Eventually, some people rescue the horse and find it at home. Like, how crazy, huh? It looks like a scene straight out of Steven Spielberg's thriller, Jaws. But for marine biologist Ocean Ramsey, this rare sighting of a great white tells the real story of the ocean's fiercest predator. So this is a 50-year-old great white shark that is over 20 feet long. This marine biologist said that this shark could actually be pregnant, and she also noted that a great white shark is one of the most misunderstood animals out there. I don't know about you, but I ain't taking no chances if I see a big ass shark. Hail to the now. Really breathtaking, heart melting, overjoyed um, to be approached by this big, beautiful, massive, I think grandma shark. I mean, she's definitely old to be that large. And it, it, I mean, it fills my heart with joy and takes my breath away. And 
it kind of breaks my heart at the same time, to be honest with you, because I just realized that moments like this are increasingly rare because shark populations are being wiped out for shark fin soup and shark finning. Det du nu fortäller så blir det lite som som synlig. Du toppar nästan all historia om du vill det så. Here's another polar bear, and this time people are actually feeding it. Sounds like a bad idea, but hey, maybe that's just me. The biggest issue with this is the sheer amount you would have to give a polar bear just for the doggone thing to be satiated. This particular bear probably hasn't had a good meal in a while, and it showed here. This video recently went viral of a man walking a trail when he was confronted by a mountain lion who follows him for six minutes. Scientists hypothesized that the animal had young kittens close by and wasn't really trying to attack him as these are animals who prefer to like hide and sneak up on you, right? Kind of attack you from behind, you know, and grab your neck. So uh, they don't believe that this animal was trying to do that. This is more of just posturing and just saying, hey, I'm here. I love how this guy handled the situation because you could tell he was kind of panicky, right? But he, he kind of held his ground and I think that potentially, you know, uh, saved this from being an escalated situation. <laughs> How many of y'all thought the thumbnail on this video was clickbait? Nah fam, it's absolutely real. So this chimp escaped from a zoo in Japan and climbed an electricity pole. Cha Cha, which is the name of the 24 year old chimpanzee, somehow avoided being barbecued and was eventually tranquilized and taken back to the zoo. Here is something you have definitely never seen. So this turtle is called a terrapin and it is attracted to the blood on the lions and just check out how these little creatures come in with no fear or hesitation. The terrapin never even gives a second thought to the fact that it could easily be a snack for one of these lions. Talk about having some big cojones. It's crazy because it's like the lions don't know what in the heck to make of this thing and what the heck to do with the turtle. So does this husky and the German Shepherd not know what they are messing with? The fearless dogs harass the puma for several minutes. Like you can tell the mountain lion is kind of confused, yet still at the same time is very confident. I mean it must know, like these dogs are no match for me. I'm the one with the speed and the power. So it's not really worth it to risk your dog's life like this. I mean maybe that's just me.
For their size, badgers are very tough animals and don't mind taking on animals much, much bigger. Is a very close relative of the skunk, it's also at times very fearless. So what do you get when they both encounter each other? You know, the badger eventually figured out that the prospect of getting both bitten and sprayed is just not a good look. Thanks for watching. I am Curtis. See you next time. Okay. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No need, no face, cause they're not factual. No, no, no. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room.